Hi, how's it going? I'm Malachi Greb, CEO and engineer of Elite Automation. Today, we're going to be showing you how to add a tool, a robot tool inside of RoboGuide and how to change the TCP of that tool. So let's go ahead and jump right into this thing. So here we are inside of RoboGuide. What we're gonna do is add the tool. We already have an existing tool as you can see here. So what we're gonna do is add a secondary tool so that way you can switch between a tool one and tool two. So we're just gonna click here on the robot tooling and you can basically click on anything inside the robot cell and it'll open it up on the browser menu here on the side. All right, so we'll go over here and as you see, there's your tool one, there's your tool one. You see it highlighted there in the blue. So let's click on the tool two. The tool two, as you see, there's nothing there. And so that's basically the objective. We're gonna click on this right here. So it's a double click. And then the browser will come up, this uh, Explorer window. And so as you can see right here, this is where you would search your own file. So if you have your own file that you would like to upload, just click the folder icon. If you wanna use RoboGuide's library, then just click that robot icon. So right here, this will open up your end of arm tooling library that is built into RoboGuide. So it just gives you some tools to kind of play around with, give you some visualization. So we're gonna go with this uh, Silgun 01. I'm gonna apply it. Boom. And as you can see, it added the uh, robot tooling. And see the uh, green dot floating around out there in space? That is your TCP. So we're gonna go to U-Tool, Edit U-Tool. Now it gives us the ability to adjust the TCP. So if you don't hit Edit U-Tool, it does not allow you to adjust the TCP. It locks it into position so you don't accidentally edit it. And one thing that's really nice about this is you can visually put that, that triad on the uh, point that you want and you can use that triad to uh, teach your location. So instead of doing a bunch of different math to figure out where your TCP is at, which I've had to do in the past is actually very complex to get all the math and get that TCP exactly where you want it at on a tool. This is a much, much easier way of going about it. All right, so as you can see here, we have the uh, different robot tooling on here. Uh, but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna show you how to adjust the TCP from the robot teach pendant. So this will be the exact same thing as the real world. So we just click on the uh, teach pendant icon up here at the top left under file. Okay, so we have our teach pendant opened up here now. We're gonna to navigate to the menu. So menu, setup, frames, and you're all, we're already in tool frame, but if you're not in tool frame, you gotta hit this other button. You have tool frame, jog frame, user frame. So we just clicked into the frame number two. You can see frame number two up there at the top. And basically like here's your Z value that you're changing. So as you modify this right here, you'll see the U tool move in the Z direction. There we go. Active tool this is number one. So we're gonna go shift coordinate. And this will give you the ability to switch your U tool right here. So this is your active U tool. So this is the way you would do it in the actual robot teach pendant versus uh, robo guide. So boom, we just switched it to U tool one. Notice how the robot tool actually swapped in the uh, in the in the robo guide. So that's just like something to keep in mind. Like you really get the good visualization inside a robo guide. So we just switched it to U tool two. Uh, and you can't get that same visualization in the real world really. You actually do have um, 4D uh, viewing in the new robots that you can actually look at f uh, a 4D view on your teach pendant. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, you can put your robot toolings in there and, and do stuff like that. Like, like being able to view the current tooling that's active. All right guys, hopefully this quick little video was useful for you guys, showed you how to create a a TCP showed you how to import a tooling. If you all found this useful, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we've got a ton of more content coming out like this. And if there's any particular videos that you'd like to see, make sure to put them down in the comments below because we're here to make videos for you guys. And if we could be of service to you in any way, uh, just hit us up. We're doing AMR integration. We're doing robot integration. Uh, we're kind of all over the place, robot tooling design. So if there's anything we can help you with, just uh, reach out. Have a good day.